Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have five super easy, healthy snacks that you can meal prep for your week. So no matter how busy you are, you know you always have that quick go-to to make sure you are fueling your body with really yummy, delicious snacks, but also ones that give you the fats, proteins, and carbs you need to help balance you throughout the day so you don't get crazy hangry. I know you guys always want recipes and more meal prep ideas, so instead of just doing like a full day or full week of meal prepping, I wanted to break this down into like just some snacks. And then if you guys like this idea of like a series, then maybe I'll start doing like snacks, lunches. So if you do, hit the thumbs up and comment down below and let me know like which things you want to learn to meal prep better just to make your life easier. One thing I love about the recipes I'm gonna show you guys is a lot of them have similar ingredients, so you're not gonna to have to buy like a million different things to make all five of these snacks. They're simple, you can make little tweaks and swaps to make them your own, but they're so delicious, a little summer inspired, and I know you guys are gonna love them. So this first snack is a really good one, especially like, either before or after a workout to help fuel your body with those healthy carbs. So carbs are important, we know this, but sweet potatoes are such a great source of not only healthy carbohydrates, but also a lot of fiber. So I just cooked these up in the microwave. You can cook them however you want, but again, I'm all about making things easy. So I had two small sweet potatoes, cut them in half, put them in the microwave for five minutes, they're cooked all the way through. And this again is something you can prep. So I'll put these in containers and store them once they're ready. So let me show you what I do with them. You'll notice I have different size sweet potatoes. So I will usually eat the smaller one. I'll give Ryan the bigger one. So if you're meal prepping for like a family, you can kind of do it that way as well. But once they're cooked, I will cut the halves in half again, not all the way through the skin, just kind of through the meat of the sweet potato in the middle. And then take a fork and kind of just mash it a little bit. You don't need to get crazy because we want it to stay within that skin. Think of like potato skins, right? Same kind of thing, sort of. So just give it a little bit of a mash so it opens it up a bit more. And then this is when I'll actually put them in the containers because it helps keep everything together a lot better. So I just have a glass container. I'm gonna line these in here. And depending on your sweet potato size, you might need larger containers, but I like using these sweet potatoes are more like the size of my palm. So it's a good healthy portion. And then once they're in there, I'm gonna take some almond butter. You can use peanut butter, you can use cashew butter, any butter you like, really doesn't matter at all, but this is gonna give you your healthy fat. So you always want that balance of your carbs with your healthy fats. Um, you also get protein in your nut butter. And then depending on the texture of your nut butter, sometimes you can just drizzle it on there. Other times you kind of have to spread it. But I'm using about a tablespoon of nut butter for each half and just spreading that right on top. And like besides the five minutes it takes to cook in the microwave, these take about two minutes to actually prep, which again makes it such a good, easy, healthy snack. And then for the top, I like to mix things up. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite toppings. Hemp is really amazing source of healthy fats as well. We're just gonna use a little bit of them but they also are an incredible source of protein, which is kind of unexpected. So again, adding some more protein into the mix here. And then this is not anything I measure. I literally will just sprinkle it on top until it looks like good. And gives it a little bit of a crunch too. So we'll just sprinkle it right on there. And then I also like to put some unsweetened coconut flakes. This gives it such a yummy, like savory, sweet snack vibe. And then again, just no measurements required. Just go ham if you love coconut, go for it. But really like you can put chopped dates on here, you can put crunched nuts on top, whatever you want if you want more of that crunch. It makes it so delicious and it allows you to mix it up more, but you're getting everything you need in that snack to help kind of keep you full and also make sure that you're getting all of that fuel. I just realized that my hair is down and I know I'm gonna regret it later when I find that like, piece of hair in my snacks. So as always, try to put your hair up when you cook. Okay, so the next snack I have for you is actually like, you can just snack on it by itself, but it's one that you can use in a lot of different ways, which again, makes it a really good one to meal prep for the week or weekend so that you have that like versatility. So this is actually a delicious peanut butter protein granola. I've been making granola forever 
I usually keep it kind of simple. I'll mix up the nuts and things I'm putting in it. But I wanted to make this one packed with protein because you're getting the healthy carbs already in the oats themselves, but also give it that yummy peanut butter flavor. I'm a huge peanut butter fan, and I feel like it just makes it easy to throw on top of yogurt if you're having like any type of like fruit or nuts and you wanna have that mix in there, or just again, add more nuts to it and have it be just a snack you have on the go. I'm gonna start with two cups of oats. So just put those right in there. These are gluten-free rolled oats. You can really use any kind. I think these are Bob's Red Mill. You guys always ask the brand. I'm not usually particular about brands with stuff as long as it's like organic, gluten-free. That's what I go after. But two cups of any type of rolled oats you want to start it out. And then I'm gonna use a quarter cup of peanut butter. This is crunchy peanut butter. You can use whatever you want. I just love crunchy peanut butter. Again, it just adds more texture. So I'm just gonna drop that right in the bowl. And then I also have a quarter cup of maple syrup. You can also use honey for this, but I really like maple syrup just because it's like lower in the glycemic index and um, it's nice and flavorful. This is optional, but I have a combination of flax and chia seeds that I always keep for like smoothies and things. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of that combination in there. You can do one or the other as well. And it'll also help bind everything together. And then last, I'm gonna add the Love Sweat Fitness Plant Protein in the peanut butter flavor. If you guys haven't tried this one, it's everyone's favorite right now. Like, people are obsessed with it, I get it. It is so freaking delicious, and it has 23 grams of protein per scoop. And zero grams of sugar. Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free everything you want in a protein powder. So for this, I'm gonna actually do two scoops as well. So getting 46 grams of protein right there. And I forgot to mention this, but you'll wanna preheat the oven to 350 because we are gonna cook this in the oven. So this is another one. It takes about three to five minutes to prep everything. Then you just stick it in the oven and you don't have to think about it. Once everything's in the bowl, you're just gonna mix it all together. And you can kind of eyeball this if you get it mixed up and you're like, ooh, it needs a little bit more oats or I wanna add a little bit more peanut butter depending on the texture you're going for. Um, but you wanna get it so it's kind of like, not quite a dough, but um, getting close to a dough. Okay, so once you get that texture, you're gonna notice there's some clumps in there from the peanut butter, that's totally okay. They're gonna melt down a bit and then I'll show you like, basically what we'll do is once the oven is ready at 350, you're gonna put this in for 10 minutes. It'll start to kind of form together most of the time, so then you'll just kind of use your spatula or something to break it up a bit again and mix it up and then cook it for another about 10 minutes until the oats get a little golden brown. I have a sheet, just a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. So we're gonna just put this right on there. And then my hands are clean, so I'm just gonna use my hands to kind of press it in a bit and maybe break up some of that peanut butter just a little bit more. And you can do that so much better with your hands. So if you don't mind getting a little messy, just do that. And then just spread it evenly on the parchment paper and stick it in the oven. The last two snacks I've showed you guys are more on the sweet side. Like the sweet potato one's like a little savory, but more on the sweet side. So I wanna show you one that's a really easy savory snack that I think you guys are gonna love. I've been doing a lot with rice cakes. I've always loved rice cakes. If you guys have used my meal plans before, you see there's rice cakes in there all the time and I like to mix up how I make them. But this is one that's again, a really great go-to to be able to prep or if you just need to make a snack really quickly, I've got you. The great thing about using like a rice cake, especially these little rice cake thins, is you can have like a lot of them and the calories are so low that you don't feel like you're eating like way too much when it's just a snack. So I'm gonna make four. And the cool thing with these is, like I said, you can mix them up however you want. I'm using this Kite Hill cream cheese. This is a like everything, like an everything bagel seasoned. It's a non-dairy cream cheese. I think it's made with almonds. Yeah. Um, but you can use regular cream cheese if you want, and then obviously like any flavor but I just love everything with a little flavor. So we're gonna open that up. And then serving size, what is it? Two tablespoons, so I'll probably put about a tablespoon on each one, but I'll spread it thin, so maybe not quite a whole tablespoon, like more like a half a tablespoon. Share the love. And these are just lightly salted brown rice, rice cake thins. And I'm gonna take some fresh cucumber and slice that up. Just really thin slices though. Like if it's too thick, it just makes the texture really weird. 
You guys see how thin these are? Like, think like thin, like you're gonna put them on your eyes. Um, and then depending on how many you want, like usually two or three on each one. This is also good if you wanted to add like turkey and actually add some more protein to it. It could be a lunch, but still could totally be a snack too. But some just like deli turkey meat would be really good on this too. And then I'm gonna use this Everything But The Bagel Seasonings from Trader Joe's. I think everyone, like every grocery store has it now. But again, if you're like, ooh, I want some garlic or paprika or like some hot sauce. Ooh. Should I put hot sauce? Oh yeah, okay, let's try that. Okay, then I'll just sprinkle it right on top. And here's the thing. If you leave them plain like this, or even if you have turkey on them, it's really easy because you can just stack them and they're not gonna get like soggy. The cucumber and stuff helps separate it. It's not just like saucy. So if you do wanna add hot sauce, just wait until you're actually gonna go eat them to add the hot sauce. But otherwise, I like to just stack them up like this and put them right in a Tupperware glass container and you're good to go. I told you guys I like to do a lot with rice cakes just because they're so versatile. So. We're gonna hit another one, but this one is gonna be a sweet one. I don't know if you saw on my TikTok or Instagram, I made something similar to this, but made it like a dessert edition with chocolate and everything. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. Definitely go do it, because you're gonna wanna make them. But this is just like the everyday, without the chocolate, a little bit healthier version that you can take just for your normal day snack. So I'm gonna start with those four rice cakes again, using my nut butter. Um, if I wanna do four, then I do have to be a little bit mindful of how much nut butter I'm using because obviously, although it's healthy, it does have a lot of calories in those healthy fats. So, um, what is it? Two tablespoons, yeah. So I'm gonna use about half a tablespoon, roughly. Don't come at me in the comments about like, that's like a whole tablespoon. That always happens, roughly. <laughs> on each one and I think that's one of the biggest things you guys with just like cooking or snack stuff like this like don't stress so much about ingredients portions like being super super precise we want to make it easy so just eyeball it you've used a tablespoon a time or two then I'm just gonna use one banana and with this it just kind of depends on when I'm eating it to me I would probably have this snack before a workout um, because there's not like a lot of protein. There's a little bit in the nuts, of course, but there's not like a ton of protein, which is really important post-workout. But before a workout, the most important thing is your carbs. That's not really gonna do anything for you before a workout, so I wouldn't worry too much about that, but you wanna give yourself plenty of time. You don't really need those fats for your workout. So I wouldn't have this like within 30 minutes of my workout, but if I needed a snack, about an hour to two hours prior to working out, this is gonna be so great because you get all of those healthy carbs. You're gonna get energy from the banana and the natural sugars in it, and it'll be a really good balance to fuel that. So just slice them up. You can stack these ones however you want. And then same kind of thing with this as with the um, more savory rice cake snack is because you have this like banana or you have the cucumber on the other one, it just makes them really stackable so that you can easily pack them up and take them on the go. And the great thing with these is they're so easy to just grab. <laughs> okay, they're so easy to grab, but they should be. So easy to grab, even if you're like in the car and you need something that you can just like eat on the go in that way, it makes for a really easy snack because everything's in like one bite. So same with all my other snacks. One thing I will say is I do like to add other things to this. So if you wanted to sprinkle some nuts on top, if you wanted to do your coconut, some more hemp seed, that can really add a little bit more flavor and more protein, which why not? My last snack is strawberry coconut protein balls. You guys, this is my new favorite thing ever. I got these dehydrated strawberries at Trader Joe's and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. I was just like, that sounds fun. And then I made this and you're welcome. I'm gonna do everything in my blender. If you have a food processor, that might be a little bit easier just cause it's more shallow usually, but it works. So I'm gonna start with one cup of those same oats. Again, I told you a lot of ingredients that are gonna be used in these different snacks. So one cup of those, one cup of raw cashews. And like with pretty much any recipe I ever try to give you guys, 
you can make swaps. So if you're like, I hate cashews, I only like peanuts, or I only like almonds, or whatever, that's fine. Just swap it out. I have two thirds a cup of that shredded unsweetened coconut. So we're gonna add that right in. I have one third cup of that pure maple syrup. Oh, this one I actually used a little honey too to get to the one third cup because I was out of maple syrup. A little sticky at the bottom, we'll get that out. And then this is about I don't know, two thirds a cup of the strawberries. You can add more or less or whatever fruit you want. I like the dehydrated though because it doesn't make it too soggy. Like if you were to use fresh blueberries or something, it'd be kind of weird. And then I'm gonna use a half a cup of my Love Sweat Venice Plant Protein in vanilla. This is what's gonna really help bind it all together and obviously give you all that protein. So all my plant proteins, just like the peanut butter, this one is gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, vegan, non-GMO, organic. Zero grams of sugar. I'm at like the bottom of the barrel because I use it all day every day. So that's almost a half a cup. That should be good. And again, you can always add more if you need it to be like a little bit thicker, depending on how it turns out once you get blending. So once that is all ground up, you should be able to pick it up and form little tight balls. So you wanna make sure the texture's right. You can always add a little bit of like melted coconut oil if you need something to to really be able to bind it a little bit better, but this one is perfect. I'm just gonna transfer this into a bowl so I can get around the blade without cutting my finger. Okay, so I'm gonna take that shredded coconut and put it on a plate, and I'm gonna get my container that I'm gonna store these in again because it's all about prepping snacks. You have them, not just like in the moment. So this is like a nice, dough consistency. You're still gonna have the crumbles, but they'll stick together. And then it's really up to you how big you want them, but I don't know, it's like a small golf ball size, I guess. So I'll just make sure those are nice and tight, roll it in the coconut, and then drop them in. And you're gonna store these in the fridge. This is also a really fun one if you have like little kids or something to have them help you, or just a husband or anyone to have help you because it can go a lot faster. Um, this is probably the one that takes the longest to prep, but you also make so many of them that they last you a lot longer too. Is that still your first ball? <laughs> oh my gosh. Not good at rolling. Just squish it first. Dough balls, all right, we're in coconut. Squish it first. Yeah, 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 we're in coconut now. Okay, that's the key. Just scoop some up and squish it together and then start trying to make your ball. Otherwise, it's, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh man, can I have a different job? <laughs> no, I mean, you can clean everything else if you want. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so hard for you? <laughs> I have little delicate hands. My hands are bigger. I so have large hands. They're delicate. That's so nice. Okay, it's fine. No, no, I got I, it. I got, this is my second one now. We're in business. Have you ever done this with me before? Um, it's been a while. I haven't made protein balls in a minute. Yeah, I don't know. Shockingly. Okay, I'm going to hang it now. Sure. Don't let anyone tell you they can't do it and leave if they're helping you. They will learn. He's a bidet. That looks like a great ball, babe. <laughs> job. You're doing great, sweetie. This is me practicing for having a child. Yeah, right. Way to go. You did it. <laughs> So it's that simple. These are five super healthy, delicious, easy snacks that you can meal prep for your week, for your day. Some of them take less than two minutes to make. So even if you're short on time, you can make them and run out the door in your busy schedule. So hopefully you guys love these snacks. If you like these meal prep videos, if you like seeing these recipes, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what other types of meals you want me to make and prep for you and we'll just keep this series going. And if you like my videos and the content I make for you guys, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss anything. All right, love you guys so much. See you soon, bye.